I'm just going to speculate and say there's going to be car mines in the outlets. So keep your eyes open. Hit up the outlets. Peep this. Yeah, no, nah, it's pretty cool, right? Gotcha. Uh, a little too low. So, I wonder how loud that is in the camera. Like, can y'all hear it? Yes, sir. The standing desk, bro. Especially like after the pandemic, which is kind of irrelevant because I always work from home. But if you work from home and you ain't got a standing desk, this ain't no low key. It is a sponsorship. But it ain't a sponsorship. But it is a sponsorship. I got this fire desk, you know what I'm saying? Standing, got the white, the black. I actually bought this one. But they sent me one to my crib in LA. Yes. Something you didn't know. <laughs> so, uh, first and foremost, I wanted to thank all of you guys for congratulating and tuning into uh, my Super Bowl performance. I've been getting a lot of backlash, people saying it wasn't that great, but it was actually like really good. So I don't know. I don't know what they want from me. I spent $7 million on my the presentation, the stage. We were on the field dancing. I, I don't know what more people want from me. Like I, I broke up with Bella, came out with this fire album. Everybody loves every track and I've been getting hate. It's like, I know I'm succeeding. Because people are hating, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. Either way, today I won the Carmine Sixes. You guys know I actually had a dead stock pair from what was that, 20 like 2013? And I actually heard that <clears throat> the new pair was releasing with the Nike Air on the back. And of course, I'd prefer that over my 2013 pair, which was on ice, never warm, never broke them out. That was just kind of a shoe for me when I first got into like collecting that I wanted so bad, but I couldn't afford it and they finally dropped it. Was able to buy a pair and I just didn't want to wear them because it was just like one of those, you know, as a child, when you can't afford shoes, you finally get them. You almost don't want to wear them. You just like appreciate them for what they were. So they were on ice, beautiful, but I ended up selling them for like 450 because I assumed it was going to be really hard to get this round of Carmines. I mean, if you guys have seen the videos in like New York and people going crazy, it's been nuts, but luckily I hit on a raffle here in Denver, so we are going to go there. One thing I'm a little bit paranoid and worried about is hopefully my pair doesn't have bleeding. That is very disappointing, Nike. What's up with y'all, Jordan Brand? Like, why would you sell us, your consumers, flawed pairs? Like, send them to the outlets, which a part of me feels like we might see these Carmines in the outlets because I've seen some bad pairs, even homies that like work at stores, they send me like, bro, did you hear about this bleeding? And I'm like, no, like the midsole is like pinkish, which, bro, that's never happened. I, I've personally never heard of that, but we're going to go to the store, check it out, little vlog session, give you guys my thoughts on them because I'm excited to see them. That's one pair I didn't get in early, which is weird, but just didn't go for them. So let's go. Okay. So. We're supposed to be at the store already, but I needed to just show you guys. This jacket goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is actually the St. Michael. A lot of y'all were wondering what's going on with St. Michael. Why aren't you making brand videos? A this lot of like joke? trademark problems. Um, another brand is making St. Michael that you guys have been tagging me in. So I have another brand. Trademark is going through. Really just working out the kinks of that before I move forward. I don't want to end St. Michael. But it's kind of one of those things where I'm telling you, you just gotta go. Okay. Like, this light ain't gonna change. We running a red light right now, brother. Well, telling you. I just don't understand. What's the point of them putting that light if they're not gonna have it? Just, it doesn't change. I don't know. But yeah, right now, it's up in the air. I still have some St. Michael stuff. I don't know. I'm just think I'm gonna move all the inventory. I just don't wanna invest all this money and then get a cease and desist from like the college. But I think you guys are going to like this new brand. I'm pretty excited because I'm just 
taking it slow and making sure things are like quality. It's not gonna be on any cheap garments. It's gonna be nice stuff and it's gonna be affordable. It's not gonna be anything crazy unless it's like this jacket on the other hand. This is phenomenal and it's like negative four right now, but let's get these shoes. Okay, shoes are secured. Let's see if there's any pink on them. That's the real question. But it's, oh God. it's gonna go to your email. Ooh -wee. Moment of truth. Did you even want these, Mary? Um, are you not really a big sixes? Your mom has two pairs of blue, black, and red. She's nah, like, she only has one. The other size is not her size. Oh. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Mother, my mom got a low key little sneaker collection, but she don't really know much about it. She knows about shoes because obviously she kept me laced as a child. Like I had all the 11s, the 10s. I was fresh, but she don't know what she got. I was destined to be a sneaker life. You guys should shoot, see my mom's like shoe collection. Her heel collection is crazy. Oh, so retailing them things was 200 which honestly I'm surprised Jordan Brand didn't charge 220. Um, shout out to winning a raffle, yes sir. So that was the inside of Soul Street. You got me a, how many pairs of Mitchell and S shorts did you get? I got you two for Christmas. Two, huh? During like the riots, they kept getting robbed over and over. So if you're from Denver, man, definitely support them. They got a lot of fire in there, a lot of good stuff. And obviously they get DJs. Now, I got lucky, man. We got that good lighting. I do not have a pair with the pink on it, which even when I was checking out, he's like, man, you wanna check these out first to make sure that they're all good? And I'm like, nah, bro, I'm getting these regardless. Even if they had the pink on them, I wouldn't be tripping, but even better that they don't. Look at that. Beautiful, oh my Jesus. I'm actually gonna wear these, not keeping these on ice. Oh gosh, sorry. Oh, you're good, we got a steady shot on. Well, there's a cop and I just didn't want him to be mad at me for being parked there, so I felt like I needed to move. Sorry, I'll hold it, you. You, you don't have to hold it, it shouldn't go anywhere. Well, I'm still gonna hold it because I don't want to be responsible <laughs> for it. So yeah, man, basically what I was gonna talk to you guys about today was that oh. pink midsole but i don't have a problem feel bad for people that do that order these on nike they should really like have not released them like that's a b grade in my opinion now this is one thing that i am noticing is these have crease marks all over them. so i just think overall this carmine release is going to be very inconsistent with the pairs which crease mark i don't care i'm wearing these i'm just showing you guys some people are like super ml about their shoes but Super anal? Oh, in college. Oh, I want to tell you, I'm just very anal about your assignment. Like, pause, bro. Relax. Okay, stop saying that. Anal? Anal! Yeah! Thumbnail? <laughs> Geek. Uh, I ain't got nothing else to tell y'all, man. I got the car mines. I ain't gonna waste your time. Stay tuned for the review. Follow me on Instagram for the real. It's lit. Boy, sneaker life. I'll catch you on the next one. Running.